absolutely amazing images you're looking at. All right, photography at its best. His name is Adrian McDonald, but many people know him by his Instagram name, Lexonart, for his mind-blowing photos that speak volumes with each shot. And it does, look at these pictures. And if you haven't experienced his work, his upcoming exhibition should be on your must-go list. He's here with me, but we continue to look at some amazing shots and there are some right here. Morning, my friend. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you. Um, we're looking at your, your pictures, but you're also a film director. So before we talk about that, tell me yes. about that. You've been involved in a couple of movies already? Yes, I um, actually uh, directed a short film uh, four years back called Cousinage. It's an award-winning short film. Um, it won uh, five out of eight awards at the Godfest. That's the UE Godfest Film Festival Brilliant. here in Jamaica. And recently, I co-directed uh, another short film, Flight, with my wonderful co-director, um, co Kia Moses. And that has also gone on to won many awards internationally. Fantastic. The next movie, if Sakina not in it, <laughs> I won't find really if I mash up all of them. <laughs> I agree, that's actually still the word. When did this start? When did the photography start? 2013. What? Phone? Camera? Or your, or your stuff? Uh, it started, um, I was a teacher. Um, and in 2012, um, the principal's husband, he was also a photographer and he used to come around to the classroom, snap photos of the kids. And one day he lent me his camera just to do um, photographs of um, social studies with the kids. We were um, depicting the Arawaks. So I started there by photographing them in their Arawak um, outfits and so forth. And that's kind of where the interest in it uh, originally developed. Right, and you just look at it and say, but we're not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you were self-taught or did that same teacher or the principal's husband, did he teach you or someone taught you what to do? And well, in photography, I'm self-taught, but uh, most of the other skills involving editing and uh, further developing it, I came after I went to MTI and studied films. So it's like a transfer of knowledge, essentially. Yeah. I've seen people. Yes. So you're doing whatever with the flowers and the trees and, yeah. the, <laughs> and, and the sun and all kinds of stuff. No, no, just people. They're just inspiration. People. I yeah. asked you before because it says narrative art. What does that mean? It's basically philosophical photography. And what that means is I merge philosophy with certain aspects of religion and life. And then I try to create meaningful art pieces which make sense and appeal to the human senses. Uh, primarily, it, is, it serves to enable the human condition. So if I take a photo and it's not able to move me or move someone, then I don't feel I've done it justice. So I focus on the story because it's something that we all can relate to. And if I look at a picture, I'm supposed to be able to tell what yes. you were thinking and... Not what I was thinking, but what, how it makes you feel. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I also noticed size. Yes. Your is big things. Yes. You're yes. not into the, the little <laughs> tiny business. <laughs> yes. So this is what you do now, apart from the film directing or, or, or your yes, work in this, film? Yes, this is primarily what I do. When you say primarily, so it is not a hobby? You, no. You no. earn from this? Yes, this is my main means of income. Um, they say you do other artistic works. Yes. Which means... Um, it's in the same lineage as photography, but it's just different. Some of it is experimental, some of it is lifestyle. Like these that we have here are more experimental side, and then predominantly I have the lifestyle where I capture Jama Jamaican people. Yeah. In when you say experimental, you, you kind of take a picture and say, all right, I can see what I'm going to do with it afterwards, or what? Yes, it's a bit of both. So if you look at these, it's not exactly uh, human. I like to delve into the conscious realm per se and imagine what's happening on that side. Explain this one. That's uh, that, it's on the screen there now. Explain that one. This one is basically called You Inversed and it's, um, it's a play on one of my favorite philosophers quote that's Alan Watts and he says that the universe is us inside and out. So what I did was I painted this little boy with aspects of the universe on him and also place him in front of a sheet of the universe. So it's both, both us in and out. Where the ideas come from? Uh, sometimes they're spontaneous. Like these ones, they just pop up in my head and I see these images very vividly. 
and I'm like, all right, I gotta write it down. Sometimes it comes in pieces. I would just see a cloth or I would see gold and then I just let it mature naturally. All right, we're looking at this one now. Is this staged? Or do you walk with the camera and you say something and you say, no, I'm going to have to take that? Yes, yes. That's so precise. this is not staged? You didn't no. ask them to stop or want to take a picture? And... No, no. I just sometimes, though, when I see a shot, I was like, ah, oh, I have to get that. And I run over there and I say to them, do you mind doing that again? But yeah. sometimes I find it doesn't work out quite the same when you ask them to do so it. So it has as... to be candid? Yes. Yeah. So you actually walk with your camera? Every time. Yeah. <laughs> Except... Today. Oh, except today. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Take no picture. <laughs> have you, um, which one we have a look at? That one over there now. All right, talk to yes. me about that one. This piece is called Existentialism. Um, I got this idea a while back from Neil Donald Walsh. He's also a philosopher and he states that um, it basically deals with life after death and it proposes the idea that when we die, we get a spiritual body and we are awakened and made anew. So, that is a representation of um, that um, quote. You've been featured in Vogue Italia? Yes. Huffington Post? Yes. There's another word, I <laughs> don't say Paris. I don't want to pronounce it. So I don't say in Paris also. Yes. How did that come about though? Um, like Vogue Italia, how, how so, did that? Um, they had a uh, competition where photographers could enter their images and they would basically shortlist the images all around the world and they would select the most, the ones that stood out to them. So what I did was submit it to it. They shortlisted one of mine and then selected it and then it became the image of the month and then shortly thereafter they published it. Yeah. You have any idea how many pictures you have taken? None. <laughs> have any Maybe idea around 500,000. You... <laughs> <laughs> you have any idea how many of you have taken and printed? Uh, well, not print, mm. print is not the word. Is it? No. Are edited? Yeah. Like, yeah. in, like these, you have any idea how many of Yeah, it, it ranges in the hundreds by now. Yeah? yeah? You have a best picture? Yes, I do. Yeah? Yes. It's, it wasn't one that we saw? No, it's right here. That's the best picture? Yes. You've ever taken? Yes. Why? Because of what it means to me. It gives me a certain sense of peace when I look at it and where it came from. It was... It was one of the most organic ideas I've ever had. It just came Brilliant. clear as day. Have you ever taken one, edited, and then you say, no, sir? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That has happened quite a lot. It's not quite a, a lot. It's not a perfect process. Sometimes you, you but, get it and you have to revisit it. And but don't you, wouldn't you realize it's not what you want before you edit it and stuff? Sometimes you try to tell yourself that you can make it what you want, but the... the the right thing is just to be honest with yourself about it because sometimes as artists, we don't want to compromise and say, I right. can make this what I want. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Whew. How much you would sell something like this for? Um, like this one here? This one, maybe about uh, 500, 500 US there about. 500 US? Yes. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say that because I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, boy, no, not that one. How much is that one? This one is going to be a little over a thousand there about. Yes. And that, your best work? I'm going to tell me that when I sell it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, this piece I will be presenting at my um, upcoming gallery exhibition, but um, this series will not be for sale. All right. When and where is the exhibition? Um, April 26th to May 3rd. Which is... Friday? Yes, this coming Friday yeah. at um, Toyota, Jamaica, 90, 93 Old Hope Road. That's the one just at the top of Mountain View. Yes, that mm -hmm. one. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Brilliant stuff, Bridget. Thank you very much. Brilliant stuff. I'm a little disappointed that you didn't walk with the camera because I think you could have get about 10 million for me. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what you're trying to laugh. I'm serious. Next time. Next time. Send on the phone. Uh, oh, it's over there. So you can lick <laughs> and I and then edit it up and. Yeah. Camera. The phone yeah. can't capture my essence. <laughs> well, you never tell me what is my essence in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> when you am so. Yeah. We don't know when you am so. <laughs> Bridget, great to meet you. Thank Fantastic you. Fantastic stuff. Tell me again the exhibition, when and where? That's uh, April 26th to May 3rd, Toyota, Jamaica, 93 Old Hope Road. Right. And you will have stuff for sale there? Yes, lots of stuff on sale. All right. You just might see Neville up there. <laughs> you can't afford I and I. <laughs> Art photographer, um, 
film well, face director. director who went direct up the great Sakina Do pretty soon. Look at those. Those are brilliant. His name is Adrian McDonald. So come, stay with us. <laughs>